Let's use the 10 multiple strategy to solve a couple of division problems. We have three steps to use. Problem number five is 240 divided by six. Step one, decide to include, we'll use a check mark, or exclude, we'll cross it out, the zero. So if we're taking a look here, we have 240, which is a 10 multiple on the top and on the bottom, we have just a 6. So this is not a 10 multiple. So in this case, our 10 multiple is on the top only. So we will include the 0. And I'm going to put a check mark for include on the 0. How did we decide to include or exclude the 0? We decided to include the 0 because the number 240 is a 10 multiple, but the number 6 is not a 10 multiple. So we only have a 10 multiple on the top, and our decision tells us to include the 0. Step 2. Divide the remaining values. So after you handle the 0, we have 24 divided by 6. 24 divided by 6 equals 4, so that is the division of the remaining values. How did we divide the remaining values? After making our decision on the 0, we took a look at the other numbers after that, and we did that division of 24 divided by 6, which equals 4. Step 3. Write the quotient. We now know that 24 divided by 6 is 4, and we also know that we need to include a 0, so when we write our final answer, our quotient, then we're going to have a 4, and we're also going to include the 0. So we have our 4 here, we have our 0 from there, and our answer, our quotient, is 40. How did we write the quotient? We wrote the quotient using a combination of dividing the division problem within 24 divided by 6 and using that 10 multiple to either include or exclude a 0. In this case, we included the 0. You are now ready to complete problem 6 using the 10 multiple strategy and these three steps.